Hello, I'm Tip Squirrel from tipsquirrel.com. A couple of days ago, a question came up about whether it was possible to rotate the clone stamp tool. Well, it is, and let me show you how to do that. I've got a photograph here that comes from Janine Smith, who's a restorationist and writes regularly for tipsquirrel.com. If you'd like to know more about restoration, then please go read her posts. This isn't about restoration. This is about the clone stamp tool. OK, let's have a look at what we're doing. Let's go and get the clone stamp tool then, which is over here in our tool palette. And you can press S to get that or click on its icon. Now, I'm going to put a little white square on the screen just so we can have a bit of an experiment to see what's going on. To mark the source of our clone stamp, we need to Alt and click where we need the source to start. So I'm going to click right in the middle of the ladies pupil here so I'm holding down alt and then I click and then you'll see that I have that pupil as my starting point and I don't have to start anywhere even near that reference point I can go anywhere I like as it is I'm going to go on the white square because it's there so we can see what's going on if I click and hold and then start painting you can see that I'm just painting and my source is moving the same as my brush and there we go OK, I'm going to control Z that just to get rid of it. Now to alter the settings of the clone stamp tool, we need the clone source palette. Now I've got mine on here, but if you haven't got yours on screen, you can go to window and then clone source. Now the setting we're looking for here are these three here. And let's start with this one at the bottom, which is the angle. And that's really what the question was about if we could rotate it and we rotate it using this box so I'm going to make the brush nice and big and then I'm going to go into this box just by double clicking it just to highlight the numbers and if I press the up arrow you'll see that the angle goes up by 0.1 of a degree which is quite laborious so let's go to one and then if I press shift and the up arrow I jump by a full degree which is a bit quicker and I can hold down if I wanted to go a little bit quicker than that. Now I want to go to 90 degrees, I think, so I can type it in here, 90, and then press Enter. And now I've got my brush at 90 degrees, and I can start painting. I'm going to go with a smaller brush again. And then we can see what's going on. And we can see how it's following what I'm drawing, but it's going at a slightly... Well, it's difficult to keep hold of it if... Uh, if you're unaware of where the the source is okay there we go let's control set that now I'm going to put that back to zero I can click this button here which is the reset for that okay but now for an eye it's going to be slightly different because I want to flip it I can't rotate it enough to flip it or I can't rotate it to flip it at all so I need to find a way of doing that now in CS4 and before that, all I'd have to do was be putting a minus sign just there before the 100%. And that would flip it uh, horizontally. In CS5, slightly different, we've got these little arrows, flippy arrows, I'm going to name them. Um, I don't know what the proper term is, but there we go, flip horizontal. So now if we take a look at the brush, if I go nice big brush here, I've actually flipped it along the horizontal. And that's really what we're kind of after for this. So if I start painting now, you see we're making a nice copy, but in reverse of the eye on the left hand side. And that's really what we need for this particular image. So let me turn off that one. Let's put another new layer in. Let's go nice and tight because for this particular image I don't want to clone the whole eye let's not make more work for ourselves than is necessary so again I'm going to make a nice reference point and my reference point will be here in the corner of the eye find the matching point on the other side and then I can just start painting in and hopefully it's going to match pretty well okay like I say this isn't a restoration video so I'm not going to be overly careful. Okay. 
Now we've also got some damage going running down from the eye, which we can also do with this. So I'm going to get a new reference point and then just come down with that too. But the problem here is that the tones don't match. So let's control and Z that because if we go to the healing brush tool, this uses the same clone source as the clone stamp. So we can use this reverse or the flippy button as well. So let's go and get reference point and then let's come down and see how good a job it does. I'm panicking until I release the key and there we go. It blends it all in. Even if I wanted to tidy that up, then I'd probably unflip it and then get some of the textures and tones from closer just to tidy it up. Well, there we go. We get the general idea. This bit's going to be a bit more tricky. We've got a little bit under the eye as well. Um, but well, here we go. Let's try and clone a little bit and uh, go around. And here we might want to change the angle just a little bit. So let's click in there. And uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a negative number. I wish I'd practiced this one before I started. There we go. Okay, well, you get the general idea anyway. Okay, so there we are. We can rotate the clone stamp tool and we can also use the same techniques with the healing brush as well. Now, I'm, I've, I've giggled to myself because I knew that I would not be able to leave that alone. It looked awful. Okay, uh, repeating patterns are a certain giveaway that you've done something in Photoshop. So let's get rid of that and it's going to look better. Even though we're far from finished, it's already starting to look better because we haven't got the repeating pattern. Okay, my name's Tip Squirrel from tipsquirrel.com. Feel free to come and find me on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget, we've got a whole host of great writers for you to check up on tipsquirrel.com. Thank you very much for joining me.